Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel for the start of a new Minecraft series. This is Stoneblock 3, which is my first real dive into any sort of modded Minecraft world. I have a little bit of experience here and there, but nothing in depth or intensive with any sort of mods or mod packs or anything like that. So it's going to be a lot of new stuff for me. So we're going to pick one of these. We'll go with Lushed House. That seems cool. Oh yeah, we got lots of light to start with. I like this a lot, actually. What does the house actually include for us? Some shelves. Oh, campfires could be good. I don't know how you light those. You might need like a flint and steel. But having those might be handy. Then is there anything else of interest? A cauldron could be good. Don't know if a bell's important at all. But there's a couple things here that it looks like we could use. So I guess let's just get started. This mod pack is placed entirely within an underground world with no surface. As you travel further from your spawn point, you will come across dungeons, caves, and eventually a ring of nether and end. Each player has their own dimension, blah blah blah. I'm playing alone, so that doesn't particularly matter. Events. Special events happen. Uh, but they can range from giving you handy loot, being funny, mildly annoying jokes. Okay. And then we have... Oh, that's multiplayer. Doesn't affect me. And we go to getting started. So, to start, we just have to break some stone with our fists, and we get these handy dandy pebbles here. And then we use pebbles to create actual cobblestone. And other than that, like... The world is our oyster, except for all of these goals and missions that we have to complete, you know? So, I mean, we'll start with the grindy stuff first, see where that takes us. We do get these fancy random rewards, like these chainmail leggings. And then we need four cobble to make a stone crafting table, so we'll need, like, 16 pebbles. Okay. And then we can make our crafting table. We'll just do, like, there. That seems fairly central. I probably shouldn't have gone with Lush because everything's just in the way. It's very densely packed. I probably should have gone with the original or something like that. But you know what? I'll take the starting resources. It's really hard to complain. Alright, that'll do for our start here. I hope that's enough. Quest book, grab a random reward. We got Soak Touch Chance Pendant to retrieve chance cubes. Player must hold this in hand to get the cube. Oh, that's nifty. I, I've heard about chance cubes. I've heard almost exclusively negative things. So that's good to know. Is this going to be as basic as I think it is? It is, except I need to do more. So hold up. Wait a minute. I need more pebbles. Yeah, I need enough for two pieces of cobble. And then we can get a hammer and I never have to worry about pebbles ever again. Still not enough. Alright. So now let's make some cobble. Let's go ahead and make a hammer. And we have our first tool, so let's go ahead and claim our reward, see if we get anything cool. A vile sword. You know what? I like swords. Swords are good. I do enjoy having a weapon. Uh, well, if this is our start, we're going to need to open up rooms on the sides a little bit. So let's do, we'll do like a mine over here, maybe. And by a mine, I just mean whatever I end up needing while I'm expanding into the wall. We'll need places for all of the things, is what I'm trying to get at, basically. Alright, now one mod that I do know about that could be handy, if we have it... Oh, we do have compressed, okay. But can I break down compressed into gravel? Okay, that's, that's what we'll be doing, yes. So whenever I need resources, that is how we will go about it. Then, let's see here. Gravel, dirt, sand, dust. Uh, what do we need to make a stone chest? Cobblestone parts. Okay, we'll do that first. 
That way we have some storage. So we'll do... Make a double chest. I assume they can stack into a double chest. At least they should be able to. We'll just do like right outside our door. Alright, there we go. And now we have a place to store all the things that we aren't going to need over time. Let's grab some food. Even if it's cutting down on our light source, just a, just a wee bit here. Don't want to do that one because it's the only one there. We'll take that one. This one. Pop that from the center. Alright. So, now, grab our reward. Red laser lens. That doesn't seem super helpful to me right now. This is just going to be a chest full of all the random shit we don't need. However, actually, hold up, let me just start breaking this down so we can do the dirt one, we can do the, the sand one. And then I think it goes down to dust, right? Okay. So that'll be a couple different missions there. Oh, it gives us compre- Oh, okay. Yes, please. Oh, that one just gives me dust. That's disappointing. If you mine either up or down far enough, you'll reach a layer of andesite beyond that is deep slate, and only then is there bedrock. Uh, overworld portion of the map separated into five slices split by Y levels. Uh, center is made of stone, 55 blocks tall above and below zero. 20 blocks tall of andesite, 53 block layer of deep slate. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind. Let's make a crook here. I guess I'll make a couple. Because I will probably need them. Everything freaked out for a second. Hold up. Wait a minute. Alright, now what do I use a crook for? Uh, mining certain blocks with the crook will make them drop saplings and seeds. I bet that's dirt, because it's the only thing that makes sense. A black candle. Just like that. We'll leave that there for now. So if I... Can I do that with compressed dirt, is the question? To do it all at once? No. You know what? I guess that would have been too easy, huh? I did notice, whenever I was running around, that we do have Vein Miner. So we'll just... Bop! Grab some saplings to work with. Oh, some. Okay, I guess more than some. We got some seed types, too. Let's see. Melons, wheat, pumpkins. We got all of the basic bitch saplings. Got some of these fancy saplings here. Source berries, don't know what those are good for, and carrots. Could be worse, actually. So let's do... I guess we can leave some compressed resources in there for now. We got seeds. Ooh, that gives us a bunch of seeds. We got saplings for that random reward. Well, that's just disappointing. What are the odds? I have 15 pages of items, and it gives me the exact same item twice. Throw that in there. Alright. Guess we gotta grow a tree now. Uh, should I clear out some of these in the middle and just do it here? It's a tall enough room. Alright, hold up. Let's clear out some grass. It's time to make this look a lot less pretty. Oh, I'm breaking all of the moss too. Hold up, that's a problem. Come here. I like the moss. Go back. Leave all the candles. Alright, we're just gonna clear out the whole middle. I can't, I can't do it. Come here. 
not in range. That one. Ow. That'll do. You know, for some reason I expected dust to be like sand and for it to fall. But that didn't, that didn't happen. Come down. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and dump out our inventory, clean it up a little bit. Oh, actually, hold up. I didn't even think about the fact that I could vein miner the grass. That makes life a lot easier. Except for the fact that I'm starving. But you know what? That's okay. Hemp seeds we'll keep down here. Pumpkin. Don't know how important any of that stuff might be, but you never know. Let's go ahead and eat up. I guess we should start with probably an oak tree. That way maybe we can start getting apples to drop. Can oak grow... Can trees grow on moss? And do we have twerking for trees? Because I know that's a staple of the Skyblock series. Okay, sure. Yes, absolutely. Why not? So hold up. Let's just... We'll set that right there. I'm going to make some sticks... That way I can make an axe. May as well keep things moving fairly quickly. Quick tree decay, that's nice. Now what if I... I know that uh, oak can grow like touching each other. So I wonder how deep our vein miner goes here, right? We just start twerking. Oh, I'm stuck! Ah! Twerk our way past here. Alright. Oh, the 40 logs? That was nice. Okay, there we go. Plenty of wood to work with. Seems like an easy start. So what is in store next? We got wood. Let's get... I have all the different types of trees, so we'll just grab dark oak because that's what I like to build with. Throw this in here. These back. Throw everything else in there. Uh, I guess that can go there. I want to hold on to all of our resource stuff in case I need it. Keep our food. We'll keep some of that. Alright, now. It looks like we can start on some basic tinker stuff for some tools. Heart builder, we have those. We have patterns. Tinkers, I do know a little bit about. So planks and patterns. Okay, simple enough. Get some of this to work with. Oh, actually, I've already got sticks. Get some patterns. Do this one first. And then I think the other was this. Grab that one. Random reward. Oh, a hopper is actually fan- Four hoppers? Oh, that's beautiful, actually. Especially because I don't have any iron coming in yet. Alright. Ooh, that's getting into andesite. I don't have clay, so I can't start, start working on that yet. What do I need for a cobble gen? Compressed stone, glass, water. How do I get water? Hmm. Water by right-clicking a cauldron with leaves or saplings. Oh, but I don't have a bucket. Okay. Instead, I'll need to get iron first. So, yes, we do have to start on a millstone, which I'm excited to work on because I don't actually... I've never done anything with Create at all, ever. So, I'm excited to see what that has in store. Except now I have to, you know go up or down 50 blocks. I'm actually closer to down, but then I have to come back up. You know? Hold up. Wait a minute. We're gonna make ladders. What does this give me? I'm going down 55 or 255, I guess. 
Let's get some more. All right, that'll do. And then, what was it that I saw there for a second? Fire plow. Hold right click while looking at stone to create lava. Okay, that's good to know. Let's go ahead and... I guess we can do our drop down if we wanted to. Like, in the house, maybe? Actually, we have a little bit of polished andesite, but I don't really feel like destroying our home. So we're just gonna, we're gonna pick a corner. I think we'll do like right, we'll do like here. And this will be our drop down to andesite. But I'm gonna need some more hammers for sure. And I will actually probably need a pickaxe because I don't know if the hammer will be good against those. Let's get some cobble to work with. Hopefully that's enough, because I don't want to start destroying more things yet. And then we have patterns. We have this. So let's grab a pickaxe head, tool handle, and a tool binding. Should be everything we need for that. Durability 116? No, oh, that's a, just a shame. That is just a shame. The moss I don't care about. And, uh, I guess... I shouldn't have to worry about falling, so let's dig straight down. You know what? I should have some source of light, probably, huh? That way things don't spawn down there whenever I need to go get more. Um, I don't have a furnace, but I can make one. Do that, just like right there. And we'll just do that to start. Get a couple pieces of charcoal. And actually, I'm just going to twerk for a few more trees real quick. Just going in a circle, give me all the trees. Oh, I can... Okay, I can twerk for drip leaves too, I guess. Good to know. Oh, that didn't take everything. Hold up, wait a minute. I still didn't get everything? Alright, hold up. Oh, there's a quick recipe for lots of sticks. I like that. That's actually really convenient. Still not everything. That's just a shame. Um, hold up. Wait a minute. Now are we good? There we go. Alright, give me all the stuff. Come on. And I know it takes quite a bit of food in order to... Vein mine, but as long as I'm getting enough apples out of it, it's actually just net gain all the way through. Not even losing out on food for it. So let's see, from there... Let's just do that, keep that going. Let's see, four does eight, that takes me to three. Do... That'll all burn through. And that's enough to start. Alright, going back down. Oh, well, I broke one hammer, but I th we're getting close. I'm only 10 off. I don't know if it's, like, a gradient, or if we'll just all of a sudden hit andesite, and it will only be andesite from then on. It's a gradient. Okay, good to know. So keep going here. Oh, the hammer's giving me cobble when I break it, so instead of that... Hold up. Eventually, it should all be andesite, right? Oh, I can vein mine it. Give me that. Give me all that. Okay. Well, that's enough of that. Just 
break some of this, make sure it's open a little bit, and we go up. Oh, I can just hold... Oh, that's beautiful. I love mods. It's just going as I go. I don't have to worry about where I'm looking or anything. That's actually amazing. And now we got a tunnel, or a, a pit, I guess, all the way down to Andesite. We got almost two stacks. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I guess it's in here. Let's go ahead and repair our pickaxe really quick. Have that nice and ready for us. Things are looking up. We got a good start going. I just killed any semblance of organization that we had, but that's fine. And now we can start on a millstone. We need... Oh, this is... I think that's just a... Nope, stop it. I think that's just stone. Stone. Andesite. Cogwheel is polished andesite and buttons. And planks. Okay, so hold up. Wood. Stone. Andesite. I don't know if there's a reason to have normal andesite, but I want to keep at least a little bit just to be safe. And it said stone, not cobblestone, so we'll go ahead and make a furnace. We'll just stack that for now. Steal these. Nope. Eight. That should be good. And now we can... Grab some of this. Let's grab out... I think I saw that we needed stone rods, but I used those. All right, so now let's see here. From here, we do this, and then we do this. That didn't work. Oh, no, go away. What if I click it up here, and then I try it? Aha! We do this. I'm missing the cog wheel. Don't have buttons. Hold up. Eight... Perfect. Make a cog wheel. I am actually... Do I need a second one of those? I don't know yet. I might. I think I need another cog wheel. We'll find out. So now we have a millstone and a hand crank, which will put, like... I want a view while I crank it. So put this like right there and then ooh nope doesn't work hold up I think I do need a cog wheel let's make another one of those nope wrong one hold up this one bop give me that okay so we put this down we put the crank not quite where I wanted you Put the crank on top. There we go. Now that should do cobblestone, I think. Maybe sand? It's crushing, so it's got to be something like that. Then we can start getting some ore. Crafter tier 1. What does this do? Machine can handle up to two recipes and allows recipes to use the crafting results of previous steps. Okay. I, sure. I don't know what a crafter is, but that can sit there. Don't think I'm ever going to hurt for the light gray carpet, so we can get rid of that. Resources. Milling gravel. Okay, so that's our plan. Milling gravel. And then we can start getting iron. However, there is something I'm curious about, right? Because if we have compacting, we have compact compacting drawers. Oh, but I need to get redstone for that. Once I have redstone compacting drawer should auto compact our stone as far as it'll go for whenever I need to do resources. So that's our goal is compacting drawers. So before that I guess we just need cobblestone. So let's do this. We'll compress what we have. We'll start breaking this down. I wonder if this saves us durability on the hammers too. Seems like it might. Oh wait, no, I need gravel. Don't do that. None of that. 
Oh, fuck me. I'm making a shovel. Hold up. I made a mistake. Give me this. Come on. Alright. That was almost very bad. So now we do this. Do I click it in? I don't click it in. Do I throw it in? Okay. So we just do that. And then I start cranking and resources should pop out. Maybe. Okay. So you right click on it and then you get things. Alright. So I guess we're going to sit here for a few. Oh, this makes me really hungry. I don't like that at all. Where are my glowberries at? Give me these. This is going so slow. I can't wait until I can automate it. Oh, I'm starving. Hold up. I thought I had one hunger bar left. Alright, what did we get? Oh, we're up to 11 iron already. Actually, that's not the worst. We got some of that to work with. We got some stone, which I guess I didn't need. Let's do eight. We'll go ahead and start smelting some of that. And then what is in store next? Lapis Lazuli Paxel. It doesn't have shit for durability. Why is that a thing? Okay, well, that's just useless. Go back. Get out of my inventory. Trash. Alright, so let's see. Now we want to start working towards a cobblestone generator. So I'll need at least two buckets. Where? Okay. And then we can have this. This is going. So then we can start on buckets. And I already have cauldrons, so I can save iron with that. Which is beautiful. And then we can get infinite cobblestone. Which will eventually tie into the drawers and all that stuff. I'm sure there's a good way to automate everything that we'll get around to. Alright, two buckets. And now we need to make a fire plow. do this over here and we just right click it we hold it okay you know what I sure it seems weird I too can summon lava with the power of two sticks and then okay water lava and now I need Oh, wait. Hold up. Put that down. Claim a reward here. A gold paxel. It's even worse. But we did get a chainmail chest plate. Okay, and now we need to make a cobble gen. So we need glass. Good thing we have sand, so we'll do that. We're just going to use a couple sticks. Because I really don't feel like wasting a coal for it. Although I guess we do have an actual coal now. Actually, does, make, does using a lava bucket consume the bucket? Or like if you're using a lava bucket for fuel? Because if it doesn't, then there's not really a reason to not do that. It uses compressed stone? Oh, well, that's annoying. Let's see, I need six compressed stone. So, I need... What, like a stack? Did I have more cobble in here? I don't. Alright, well, hold up. Wait a minute. 45 plus the eight normal stone I have. Six times nine. I can't be bothered to do math. It'll work or it won't. I'll get a little bit more just just in case while it goes. Alright, that's got to be enough at that point. In fact, hold up. I'm going to split it. There we go. Problem solved. That singular stick in my inventory, go away. And now while that's going, what else can I work on? 
dripper. The dripper drips fluid onto the block below it in order to turn it into other blocks. Uh, okay, hold up. Wait a minute. What if I... Make an infinite water source really quick. We'll do that. We'll just do this, like, over here. I haven't decided what I'm going to use that other side for, but it's not this. So we need some clay production. If it drips onto the block below it. Actually, what? Hold up. What block will it use? No, I don't want to look at how to make it. I want to look what I need to drip it on. Uh... I assume I'll use this to make clay. So let's look up clay. And in order to make clay dripper on water. Or on water onto dirt. So first things first, let's do, do a little infinite water source right here. That'll be fine. In fact, I could cover that more, but I just won't. We'll do that. And then we can just kind of go back a little bit here. Oh, actually... I could raise everything up one if I wanted to, but I don't know if I will. Nah, it'll be fine. I'll go like, I'll just fill it as I, as I wish. So let's open this up a little bit. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go back two more. That way it'll be even for making stacks at a time, or it won't be a stack, but eight at a time up to a stack without having leftovers. So then I'll need to make eight drippers, which are made how? Oh, that's super easy. Hold up. Do I have wood on me? I do. I don't know if I needed buttons. Why did I start making buttons? I did need buttons. Okay. Nope. Shift click. That's five. What's my limiting factor here? It's buttons. Of course it is. All right. Now. Just like that. We grab some drippers. And you fill them with water. And they start dripping. Okay. You know, that's a much more straightforward than I thought it was going to be, I won't lie. Do I have dirt in here? No, but I have cobble that or I have gravel that I can turn into dirt. Then we do this. Loot B. Hurry up and get the loot before it despawns. Just to be safe. We'll cover that up. Okay, well you do you, Loot B. And then what? Let's see, how many can this hold? Why is this being weird? Ah! Oh, I was gonna say, are you actually doing anything? I don't know if I consider an egg like epic loot, but you know what? Mystical white flower. An emerald. We got some copper. Another egg. What else you got for me? 
More copper, sure. I won't argue. Eggs are good. I mean, chickens would be beautiful. Oh, it's gone. And a singular iron. Okay, why not? So then... Oh, we got our first clay. Eventually, I'm gonna just fill the other side, I think. To make life a little bit easier. In fact, hold up. Oh, well, that's just a shame. Let's do this really quick. Should speed things up for us considerably. And then we'll grab a couple buckets here. Okay, and that makes life easier. And let's see, four, four, and then basically four. And we're getting clay. Let's claim our reward. We got a spyglass. God, my inventory is just so cluttered. Dump everything off and complain about it later. That is my motto. Grab this, grab this. Let's go ahead and make some compressed stone here. That's almost exactly what I needed. Let's go ahead and dump off a of water. Come grab our lava. Thank you. And then we should be able to make a cobblestone generator. Wait, did I put the glass away? Damn it. Come here. There we go. Let's go ahead and make a... Another chest here. And now cobblestone generators... If I remember correctly, because I've, I've messed with these before as well... I think they just output from the top. I don't think you have to hopper them. So if I set this down here and then I put a chest above it, it does. Okay, good. So we have automatic cobble gen forever now. Goodbye, torch. I can't be bothered to break these things to go save you, so you exist down there now. Claim a reward. A stone paxel, the highest durability yet. Then, we're actually not looking too bad. The encased fan uses rotational force to create an air current. If the air current passes through certain blocks, like water and lava, the air current can be used as a crafting mechanic. Water will wash items, lava will blast items. Oh shit, what a- The crate has this whole thing? That's actually kinda cool. Huh. I like that a lot. Okay. So, how do I make a fan? I need a propeller. Which I need iron sheets and I need an engineer's hammer. So, iron might be my limiting factor right now. Manual item application. Andesite. Alloy is zinc and andesite. And a shaft is... Andesite alloy. Okay. So. Let's see here. I've got a couple raw zinc. Do I've got some andesite. Do I have any gravel left? Of course I don't. Let's grab some cobble. Let's get started. Here's the grind. Here's where it really kicks in. Now, actually, Crete has like a water wheel or something, don't they? Uh, water wheel. Large cog. And some slabs. Actually, that's really easy to make. Okay, hold up. Let me grab my wood. Wherever that is, because I'm blind. So I need a cog wheel first. I don't have any of the polished andesite on me. Give me this. Grab that. 
So, breaking it down. Cog wheel first. We grab that. And then I make a large cog wheel. And then I need some slabs. Then I have a water wheel. So, I should make a workspace instead is what I'm hearing. So, let's see. Let's grab our... Our stuff over here first. Give me this, give me this, thank you. I might not need the hand crank anymore if all goes well. Uh, I actually think we're going to need to raise this a layer, maybe. Okay, so. If I have the water wheel here. And I go get some water. Is it just that simple? Maybe? Okay, it is that simple. Give it a second, let it go back down. And then the water wheel goes. Okay. Then if I have this, uh, what would I use to turn the, f do I need to turn the force here? Maybe I don't. Give me this back. Give me this back. Let's open this up a little bit. How many blocks does this take up? Not quite what I was hoping for. Okay, I can place it down like that, which is good. I assume this all needs to be opened up. Now, if I place this, you know, I'm not sure how that works if it's going both ways, but it does, so I won't argue with it. What if I place another one? Oh, it does work. It doesn't seem like it works any faster, but that's fine. So then I do... cog wheel on top that's very slow that's very disappointing change of plans what if I make a large cog wheel alright give me a minute here uh bop bop I didn't make the buttons yet alright let's make some buttons Make a couple of these. Make a large cog wheel. Oh, I don't have any planks. Easily solved. Now, will this spin more? About the same speed. And then what if I do... Why is that going faster now? Oh, because it's only going in one direction. I can't place a little one there. That's kind of a shame, actually. What if I just do the millstone right there? Is that not on the same level? It's not, does that not work? No. What if I do... Also doesn't work. Uh, what do I have? Just stone? Just stone. Just like that. And then... I could just do that there, but that also doesn't help me. I need something that'll let me spin... The millstone here. What if I... How do I make that, uh, andesite alloy? Because you can make shafts with that, right? I have the zinc on me. Let's go ahead and... Make a couple of those. Because I really want to get this at least somewhat automated before I end things off here. So let's go grab our hoppers. Let's 
make a couple chests. They're just like a double chest, I guess. Alright, so. I want this here. With a hopper there. And then that on top of the hopper. Then let's go grab that andesite, or the, the zinc. And then I can make this into, oh god, don't do that, nuggets, I think. And then I use the nuggets and some andesite. Make some andesite alloy. And then it's two of these for, for a shaft, it is, okay. So then if I break this, I put a shaft there, put this on top, and I fill with this. Does not seem like it. These two don't seem like they connect, which is a shame. That connects there fine. So what if I connect there? Okay, it just couldn't connect straight was the problem. It actually it can't overlap, I understand. So let's do this on the other side, though. Right. So let's do... This. There. There. And then that goes. And then I got some gravel. So then we'll take our other hopper here. We'll do... That. There. We'll break this open. We're gonna go make another double chest. And we should be good. I think. Maybe. Cobble, cobble, cobble. All of my cobble. Spread it out. Get that compressed cobble. Let's go ahead and hammer this down. We'll just let this go. Right? All that gravel. Grab this. Gravel, 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 gravel. We should have infinite resources. Everything we could ever want. And it's moving pretty fast, too, actually. And let's see, more gravel. Oh wait, the hopper's placed weird. Did that not work? Or is that just, there's nothing in there yet. Oh, now it works. Coal and zinc. And that's just gonna go. We got we got gravel going, we're good. Beautiful. And I guess that's where the sand came from. We'll throw that up there. Alright. My first time using create to do literally anything. And we got another loopy wherever it is. Hopeful oh wait, it's not. You in a wall? You're in a wall. Hold up, I will let you free little buddy. Come along, my child. There you are. You are free. Be free. Oh, do you like the flowering azalea? I'm glad. Alright. This worked out better than I thought it would. 
leave that in there for now. And we got iron, we got coal. Basically an in infinite supply. So that's a pretty good place, I think, to end this off. We got a battery, we got a flower, we got something else that I'm not even sure what it was. Emeralds and eggs and copper and all kinds of fancy stuff. And flowers. And another iron ingot. Let's just see what all I can dump out here. Not much. Oh, wait, hold up. Go back. Go back. Okay. That being said, I hope a watering wheel wasn't a challenge anywhere, but it doesn't look like it was. Oh, wait. It was! Give me that. An ender tank. And pipes. What is it? I don't know what an ender tank does. We got some pipes, so that's cool. In, hold up. Storage empty. I don't have my buckets on me. Oh my god, it takes so long to mine. Could I use this to, like, pipe liquid from place to place, maybe? Because it says ender, so I'm assuming it's like an ender chest. We'll see. We'll get around to it eventually. Uh, that being said, that's going to do it for episode one of Stone Block 3. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please like the video. If you have any suggestions for content that you would like to see or anything you would like to say, please leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. I will see you all next time. Peace.